Uh, and something I've kind of been mulling over for the longest, especially after a couple of conversations that I've had over the last couple of weeks due to some, you know, personal things that are going on in life and whatnot. I've just been thinking in general about maybe going full ham with this kind of thing that I do, because for the most part, even though I have stuff like this beer and kept fun here at the bottom of the stream, I'm not exactly out all the time like I was at one point. There was a point in my life where essentially going out and getting absolutely trolleyed was exactly my kind of mission in life. And I kind of sometimes would actively run away from people who would try to tell me to chill out, calm down or take it easy because I was thinking at that time they were fun police. I'm pretty sure they're still fun police, but they probably did have a point in terms of me maybe pulling it in, reining in and chilling out a little bit. But I was living my best life. I had issues i was kind of maybe personally going through that was maybe you know in a weird way subconsciously unconsciously i'm um, taking it out on a dance floor that malarkey but there was something i enjoyed doing and i enjoyed doing it to some extent now but i wouldn't say it's very accurate to my overall personality and what I'm, I'm about in terms of how i do my stuff i can't i kind of like to play up to it because i think it's just funny to troll people and to make them think you're absolutely caning it every single day because it's way more um you know humorous to see them get on their high horse and try to be moral arbiters of what people should be doing at certain times of their life ages and whatnot and i'm also kind of somebody that kind of you know laughed and kind of at first i kind of got offended but also i kind of laughed and loved when you know the weekend and future would kind of purposely go on these kind of tangents of telling people how many drugs they did how much drinking they did and then i kind of got old and i realized to myself hold on i love the weekend i love future i think they're only getting better and better with each project especially something like a future is becoming way more well-rounded as a rapper especially he's come from you know his trap sort of beginnings all the way until now um his melodies are awesome his bars are amazing he's got captions for days and artistically, he's just going in very different places overall. And it got me thinking one time when I was older, I was like, hold on, these guys that I love the weekend and the future, they talk about doing drugs and drinking all the time, but they also are able to put out these stellar, which I would say are easily like, you know, seven out of 10 and plus um, albums every other year or whatnot. They put on a hell of a live show. I've seen the weekend perform live. I've seen future perform live. It didn't make any sense to me why those guys that were talking about drugs and alcohol would also be able to put out that kind of level of music and product then it kind of suddenly clicked i was like oh they're lying they're playing up to this idea of being this rock star but actually day to day what they do if you listen to anybody that speaks about future and his you know habit of being in the studio every single day that guy essentially lives in the studio and if he's not in the studio he's at a strip club and if he's not at the strip club he's at the club and if he's not at the club he's at the studio those are all the places that he's at or you know maybe linking some itches here and there but he's nowhere else so if this guy's spending so much time in the studio putting out these amazing projects these amazing songs doing these amazing hooks crafting these amazing melodies probably doing loads of ghostwriting as well on the side when's he got the time to do all those drugs and alcohol bits same things could be applied to the weekend his actual start of his career was like being the guy that was the caner right talking about how much drugs he was doing pills he was popping coke he was snorting drinks he was sipping on girls he was falling in love with like all that stuff was kind of his earlier part of his career he has kind of still got that sprinkling overall going forward but i don't think somebody that's performing on jimmy fallon that's doing super bowl halftime shows is also being able to take bumps in the toilet it just doesn't marry up to me so over time i've kind of liked to play in that image because i think those two guys played into it and i think it's good to troll so it's nice to kind of like pretend you're that guy and kind of play into it but also kind of dibble and dabble but i definitely would say i'm not at the same level that i was maybe a couple of years ago maybe even more where i was legitimately going out like every week tuesday to sunday right rinse and repeat maybe wednesday to sunday actually to be fair to myself rinse and repeat all the time on top of me djing all the time as well so that means i was you know in in clubs in bars being flipping tempted to do bad things and all that malarkey so that was like a constant thing for me all the time but then of course comes a thing where you start to realize hey i have goals i have ambitions um i have things i want to achieve i have people i need to help out and whatnot and I just kind of want to be in the best place so I can possibly at the end of my life look back and say yeah here's what I've contributed to the cultural timeline you know of this world that I'm living at the moment I kind of want to leave something there behind right and say hey I was here too I contributed something meaningful that I think some people can you know take from learn from inspired be be inspired by and build from and obviously exceed in their own timeline too that would be amazing definitely that would be amazing but 
as most of you will know, if you're grown-ups, as most of you will know, drugs and alcohol do not combine well to somebody. Do not are not a good combination for some. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not something that you should be doing if you have dreams aspirations. Maybe something that you do at at the end, right, or when you finally achieved your goals. But if you're on your way to achieving your goals, they're not the best thing to be doing because they take time away from the things you actually need to do. They're distracting. Um, and they just generally lead to a lot of mess. And what I found with me is that the older that I've got, and I think specific, I have to say, the flipping pandemic, I think, messed us all up because it essentially robbed us all of two years plus of our lives. I think those two years, I think for those two years being a pandemic, I can clearly easily say I was off the hype thing for like maybe for like raving thing and going out drinking and doing stuff maybe for like a year and a half i was off of that because i was so scared about the flipping virus i was that guy that bought the flipping visor i bought 17 masks i was importing them from south korea i was importing k95 masks from flipping china i was so worried about it. i didn't want to get sick especially with my already you know respiratory issues and my hay fever and stuff i just didn't want to i just didn't want to didn't want to be in that kind of vibe in it yes Koyla, we're live we're live in this place brother good to see you um but yeah i didn't want to do that right so i wanted to make sure that i was clear-minded and i was going through what i need to go through but i think that two years out during the pandemic and not doing stuff and then getting older meant that when i did finally go back out i realized oh rah, i'm not the same person anymore i can't do the same level of stuff i was doing prior and still be functioning and still be working out and still be doing the stuff i need to do to kind of get my career where i need to get to and just still being a functioning adult and being a good friend and all that sort of my life i just can't do it it just doesn't work that well and i have to kind of sack off the other thing so especially after the weekend just gone and whatnot it just got me thinking because i didn't i didn't go out right i didn't go out for a bank holiday weekend whatnot but i had a little session whatnot right at home and i was thinking to myself you know what this stuff as much as it's fun i do obviously now get to a stage where i definitely do think i enjoy this kind of thing out more i think it's way more of a reward and feels a little bit more no i said meaningful it's just i'm not sure if it's a reward reward is probably the wrong thing to say but it just feels better to do after a long period of like absence for me or working hard during a week because i remember when i was working in retail um one of the things i absolutely loved right one of the things i absolutely loved when i was working in retail was like going out with my colleagues like after work and usually the reason why you loved it or why i loved it the most was because at that time i was kind of relatively young I was kind of going to church so it's kind of a bit of a naughty thing to do because I was kind of growing up in a really conservative sort of like you know a religious kind of household where you weren't allowed to do certain things so that kind of fun time after work with your friends was a little bit naughty uh, whatever it may be but the main thing why I liked going out with my friends after work was the reward of a, you know a good day a good day of hard work had kind of given me so at the end of the day when you'd kind of been dealing with horrible customers you put for a million refunds you replenished stock you did the merchandising you did the standards you cleaned up you did all that nonsense right you locked down you cashed up and stuff and at the end you get to kind of go with your friends to spoons to a local bar around the corner um or whatever it may be and have a drink and have a little bit of a dance or whatnot and go home that was legitimately amazing it really was amazing and i think over time i then basically upgraded that sort of experience i did it with berlin i did it with a club so i would be like you know out you know friday this is friday and saturday or i'll be working monday to friday then i'll decide to kind of go out somewhere go to a rave have my fun and do what needs to be done but it always was a reward for something. It wasn't like a daily thing. And I think what happened is after the pandemic, where I tried to come back outside, I basically tried to recreate that. I basically tried to make up for lost time by, you know, having sessions at home, which aren't the, aren't the greatest. Because, but you know, from the outside looking in, they look a bit sad. You know, they could be fun to you, but being at home alone <laughs> and watching live streams and getting on it at home can look a little bit ridiculous, a little bit sad. Um, can also it, it it just looks sad. There's no other way to put it. It just looks completely sad. It's not an after when you're doing it at home. It just looks sad. So, the plan is going forward now. Long story short is that I want to get to a point where that's the name of the title of the podcast six weeks uh, burger and program is I want to kind of treat this how I did it beforehand and kind of have it like training camps where I'm basically sober for the most part when it comes to before the party season that I'm kind of going on and then when that's finished come back and start doing my regular mind to friday because prior to the pandemic i think it's one thing that I kind of appreciated a little bit about working in the office because now i predominantly work from a computer i'm basically working from home for the most part on a laptop and one of the things i actually did like about working um, in an office prior to the pandemic was that 
for me, it gave me a structure to what I was going to do Monday to Friday, because, you know, with, without, with some, without exception, you are going to be in most days if you worked in an office Monday to Friday. So it basically created um, these sort of like guardrails I could kind of live my life by where I could make sure that I had to be, beha- I had to be somewhat behaved or my good behavior, sorry, from Monday to Friday. But then when a Saturday or, but when a Friday evening came about, I could then get a bit crazy and get a bit loopy. And of course, most of the startups I worked at, they always had like Friday drinks or they'd get you pizza or you'd have like a team, you'd have a company all hands where they'd bring drinks, like something to do with drinks would always happen on the Friday, especially if it was around payday because it was a chance for everyone to kind of let their hair down and relax after a long week of flipping working hard. So that's what I want to go down to, go back to personally, my personal life, especially when I think about my DJing thing that I want to kind of pick up. I'm probably going to start producing also. I don't want to be in a position where I'm essentially a slave to the flipping rave, which I've never been, to be honest. I've never been that. It's only been the last couple of years where I felt like I've kind of slipped into some bad habits. I think before that, I was fairly strict with how I went out. I did my work Monday to Friday. I went out on a Saturday if I wanted to, and that was it. So this coming weeks coming up, there's six weeks before... I just before I'm going to Berlin I should be going there the last weekend I think of May I think it's at the 21st or something of May I think it's around that sort of date let me just double check but I'm pretty sure that's the date that I booked yeah I'm going to Berlin from like the 26th to the 29th of May so between now and then I basically got six weeks to train do what I need to do and essentially live a 100% sober lifestyle until I go then and then I'm going to rinse and repeat that at home also and just continue doing it that way because I just think the the other the other option is just crap and honestly the hangovers are so brutal now they take two days sometimes two and a half days to recover from you're still kind of reeling from it and you forget all the good stuff you did whereas before i feel like if i'm going to a party i'm kind of well i'm kind of especially if you're going to a place like berlin you you can't really get yourself too larry and too on it because you have to behave you have to be on your best behavior in the queue they don't let you go there and be a little bit too drunk and go crazy so you have to be kind of on your best behavior um when you're in that queue itself you also want to pace yourself because most of the clubs there are open 24 hours um sometimes they're open from friday all the way until flipping monday so there's no need to go there steaming you can take your time and if you want to go see a certain person play like where i'm gonna go on that weekend i'm gonna go to like three different clubs to see three different people and i think i'm going to two clubs in one night so i basically need to be paced so you know i always find myself when i go to these things on way better behavior um than i would be at home because the structure of how they do stuff there is just a little bit more easier to kind of you know do the right thing because you don't end up pre-drinking you don't end up getting on it before you wait until you get there and even when you get there you're more focused about the rave and the music and who's playing and who's around and looking at the architecture and the interior and just walking around this labyrinth of a club and finding all these nooks and crannies you can kind of hang out on and chill at that's basically the kind of time you're on so that's what i'm going to be on going forward so i'm really looking forward to that kind of um phase of my life up and coming you know coming up sorry um but yeah just wanted to kind of put down the record just for myself mostly <laughs> so i'll make sure that i don't sit back into bad old habits because i think that's probably the better way to go about things but that is the plan that is the goal going forward it's a six week bergheim flipping marathon and you know training sort of program that i'm going to be on going forward six week Bergheim camp i can't wait it's going to be absolutely banging i'm going to have the best time and i'm really 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 going to be um on it and i can't wait i can't wait i can't wait what's what you're saying yeah i always felt like too short partying on a wednesday but yeah just got straight up sad after a long yeah it just is with shame man it's like to be honest i think maybe sad is not the right maybe sad is not the right thing to say i won't say sad because i think I, I wouldn't even say everyone needs that period that's not what i would say I, I don't think everyone needs a period in their life where they party and they go crazy some people don't need that in their life at all and to them going out to party going to drinking getting on it it's just like lame to them they could not see anything worse they could do with their time and their money i get it but for some of us i think it's important to quickly realize what type of like party person you are and i think for me there was a period in my life where i honestly thought I enjoyed getting on it more than I enjoyed the parties because it was such a like um un it was such a forbidden thing for me to do how I grew up and whatnot right so it kind of seemed like the wrong thing so I'd kind of run to it because my life was just you know I was just getting constantly told what to do all the time so the one place where I could do what I want I kind of went crazy but in actuality when I think about it over time some of the best things i experienced in my life like as a young person came through parties but they just came from meeting people 
from having fun, talking crap in a flipping smoking area, m making new friends on Facebook, adding them on Instagram, um, meeting each other up at other places. Like th those legitimately came some of the most formid formidable um, moments in my life that kind of contribute a lot to who I am as a person. And how quickly I realized, especially when I started to DJ and started putting on my, my own parties, oh no, you actually like the parties you like the raves especially when i start talking about them and you know I, I look at old clips of myself and i started talking about raves on here on a podcast for real like you know i could see clearly that i'm passionate about raves i'm not just passionate about going to them and getting messed up i'm actually passionate about the clubs where they are who's playing there how they program them all those things intrigue me which is probably why in the future i'm definitely going to be opening up my own nightclub especially seeing what flipping joe rogan has done with his own comedy club is able to kind of progress that and kind of scratch that itch so it's definitely something that's kind of i've realized over time but i don't think i think everyone just has their own journey i don't think it's either so in one way i can say it's sad what i'm what i was doing prior but some people just enjoy it i know some people who come back after work you know on the weekday and rack up a couple of lines have a drink and go to bed like it's nothing to me i could I, that you know nowadays it feels like that's a sad thing to do if it's not connected to a party but i know some people like and enjoy to do that all the time especially when you look at the rates of drug use here in the uk on a weekly basis it's really high like people generally 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 get on it like way more often than people like to talk about so i'm sure i'm not the only person going through that but i just think overall we just have our own little path to kind of take and i just think along the journey um you do get you do get some messages you do get sent some signs and i think it's up to you to decide whether or not how you interpret them whether or not you take them and you use them to kind of carry you forward that's the thing that i'm kind of getting to and i'm going to try to take the signs and the flipping um you know hints i'm kind of getting along the way to kind of fix up certain parts of my life because i know where i kind of want to get to and i also know that the things i'm doing now isn't really contributing to where i want to get to in some way shape or form because i know the best thing for me and what's always worked out for me what's always worked for me was to have a very strict monday to friday and i don't mean what i mean strict i just mean you know basically not doing anything monday to friday and if i want to go on a weekend i can but that's it i just reserve it for the week and there was a period of time when it was legitimately monday to friday it would be like there'll be times where i'd go out on the friday night and i wouldn't touch a drink until it passed 12 you know what i mean 12 a.m until it was 12 or 1 Saturday morning, I went like I was that strict about it. That's how strict I was traditionally about it. And I think that allowed me to kind of keep some level of balance. So I was like running 20, 25 plus miles a week, but I was also, you know, going out every weekend. But then I think over time, the going out kind of started to eclipse the flipping, doing the other bits. And that kind of got by the way, and especially when it started to invade my weekly schedule, then I went crazy. So I'm kind of oddly you know free a little bit reckless and crazy in some regard but i'm also quite regimented and a little bit um you know yeah i'm quite like like yeah in a way like the, i have that kind of thing about me i think i can be a little bit loosey-goosey but also want to have some level of a plan that i'm kind of writing down even if it's in my head or whatnot but anyway that's enough about me um you know talking nonsense and stuff and hyping myself up but that is a plan going on going forward for the next couple of weeks and i can't wait i really can't wait 